All right, we're just gonna start it here today. Hey there, everyone. So, Kaplan Marilex three. Last time, two judge gave a level zero in gimmick, but it turns out that the author put his read file in like a weird place. Whoa, Cameo City, right here. It's so dark. But yeah, it turns out the author put his text file in a weird place, and only Zatsu got to it. So it kind of creates this weird situation because then you add that the author did write down his gimmicks in the talk house thread which the rules explicitly state was a valid place to put your gimmick information. This has been acknowledged by people involved. Uh, we're just gonna play here now. 93rd by Whimsy Karen, Shy Guy Fuel. I don't... Shy guy? F fuel for shy guy? How does that work? What does that mean? Are they convert shy guys into fuel? Hi, house owner. Wow, good job, buddy. Way to brag about the coldness of your heart. Uh, I can hear it. Okay, flowers are saved. Great, destroy the smiles. Ride the dead. Ride over the impossible. Hmm, hey, look at that. Oh. Whoops, there's... Oh, is that what the dead shy guy looks like? It's a little bean. Oh, that's a mask. That's kind of gross. Oops, well, I just made that tower crumble. Uh... Hey, Dagadon. <laughs> shy guy Jim always wanted to be buried with his Dagadon. Well, see, there's there's a literal just, just, a, just an alive guy. Uh, shy guy the alive guy. Uh, now on the TV store. Press... Oh. <laughs> Timing! <laughs> Alright, do I want to press a big button though? Like, do I want to make these ten- Well, I kind of don't have a choice, because, you know, I gotta be able to process progress. They're so happy to be there though, look at them. Is this solid? No, that's not solid. Well, we got a golden ghost music, which is always nice to hear. Yeah, how- can I go on these statues? No? Eh, yeah, it did it. I got myself a big mask now. Oh shoot, it's a big shell. Oh, well, all right, now I know. Uh, kill these guys? There we go. You gotta destroy dead the dead, and now it all makes sense. Oh no, he's coming up. He's right out of his shell. What are we going to do? Whoa, geez, be careful, I guess. Yeah, that is an option for me and you. All these guys running down, following me all around. Oh, geez, uh, all right. Destroy the world and most things within whenever it's convenient for you. Wanna bump the other one? Tectonic advance. Now the tower is as high as it'll ever be. Oh, I was supposed to jump down to get there, to get that one Dagadon. But I didn't. So I guess it will forever be untaken. You can't fall off. Well, I am a little bit afraid. Just gonna chuck you in a pit and now you're vibrating all the way to heck. Here we go, zombie collision. Worm wiggling. That's his catchphrase. Bad catchphrase, but you know what? It's not his fault. Okay. People are dying and dying a second time. The land is shifting. That guy is just kind of roughly confused. I'm going to drop. Oh, I wanted to drop you in this hole, but I dropped you on your feet. There you go. I was hoping for a chance to bop that block. Whoa. Well, maybe. I did not see him! Whoa, they just like immediately pop out of that hole. I keep missing. They're just too dangerous. They're scary. Alright, now I'm up here. Something about riding the dead. Up until the day you despair. Well, I did, wasn't fast enough to get to that moon. The land- Oh no! The land shifted underneath me and I was in the air so I couldn't jump anymore. That's unfortunate. Like, how do- how do you solve that, 4X? No! Wait. What? Wait. It's scary. So here, yeah, the land start to melt away. 
Ah, I just did a big jump there. All right, I'm still alive this time. Whoa! Blah blah blah. There's a guy with a midpoint. All right, uh, we are now in the dark. Uh, there's a button. I oh 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 oh! Look at these graphics, though. Oh jeez. Uh, oh jeez. Okay, this is kind of dangerous. Oh, this is ah, it's so gross. I love it. All right, you get a, looks like double mushroom here, so it's fine, but for a given definition of fine. All right, so eh. it's like, mm. like these these just uh, I don't know. I don't like dealing with kind of fast shy guys. Glee. Oh, you can jump up through them. They looked solid to me, so I... Oh, Alright, well, that's fair then. Here we are! Yep. Zombie Gus. Oh, you're probably supposed to, like, do a little bit of that. Then just, like, mounds of dirt are falling. As they do in Kentucky. Uh-huh. Revealed where this level was hap... Oh, boy, this feels not great. The thing is because here you clearly keep bopping your head that the fact that you go through the platform here is just like yeah like the you can see the bottom of the platforms look different though so like that is so cool but it also feels so bad and then you get here and it's like I don't know I guess you just die uh wow I'm surprised that went as well as it did Run! I can do that. Here we go! Money tree! Into the tube! Hey, pretty nice central heating you got here. Hey, no problem, man. That's why you call the plumber. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba! <laughs> this level was pretty good. This level was pretty darn gosh alright. I still think a lot of the gameplay felt awkward. Layers are tricky, sometimes you'll just fall through them or something and it feels bad, but just the last part, like, I, I, I don't know. I would make the jumps less, a bit less precise, maybe, in how they feel against your head at the end. But, like, just the, the whole look, though, like, that last part is amazing. Crazy, yeah, bonus furnace all day, every day. Everything here, to me, nailed it. Shy guys all over the place, uh... Super Mario's demo. Uh. Oh. Well, the demo costume would have worked here, but was not applied automatically. You know what? Yeah, I guess that is kind of invoking Ghost and Goblin that last part. Uh, but except it would be skulls instead of masks. I don't know, the fire mask makes it weirder, grosser, but like in a cool way. <laughs> Sturg, what does that mean, that statement? There were some jumps in that area that weren't exactly dairy-free. You can't cheese them. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I don't know. But... is in construction to code. Really? The pipe? You just run into the pipe. I guess I was lucky. I mean, I'm okay with being lucky, to be fair. Kind of lack some conveyance, what you're supposed to do. Well, uh, you know, yeah. Like, it was all said about Crazy Toad McFace, Face, the face guy with no beard. The only toad without a beard. Like, I, I, I recall back to the things he was saying through the level. Mm -mm -mm. It is pretty demanding, though. True. I'm surprised it's only three mushrooms. Maybe I would put it at three and a half, but I don't know how they decide this. See, I don't know if it's pure Garbo, but it is finicky. It is finicky. Like, that cannot be denied. It is quite a beaver. See, I, I agree with that. Like, it does feel like... 
killing zombies to make the tectonic plate shove around is cool, but the fact that almost anything will make the land move in different ways is super weird. Uh, oh, really? Oh, that makes a difference? I didn't know- well, I noticed the mask things, uh, that there were some that were happy zombies and others were not, but I didn't realize that it made a difference, so I feel like, yeah, that's kind of not in your favor. The fact that I didn't notice playing through the level, that it made a difference. That is true. You go from playing, playing cautiously to having to play quickly by instinct. And there's not really a warning when that shift in, in gear happens. Hmm, yeah. Alright, I mean, all that seemed pretty fair. I don't know why I was just reading silently. This happens sometimes. Alright, zombie noodles. There's a cool thought. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, like, what was the matrix in determining, like, what determines difficulty. Business is booming, making other bombs. Well, here's 16th boss by Sleth. Sleth? Sleth? VR mission. Oh. High score out of 30 by Sturk, very low by Ramo. That's to bring the middle. Oh, okay, well, it's a shorty though. Hard but short. Let's see how that goes. I forgot to press the button to look at the images. Uh, a Mega Man! I got Mega Man features! Here's Saws, falling from the top. Okay, you can charge. Can get points. Uh, there's something very weird happening physics-wise here. Okay, I'm on a moving layer, and this is affecting my the physics of my jumps. It's just you wouldn't necessarily be aware of it. But here we go. We just got some blades. Uh, we found in the pristine. Okay, no. Well, this is now different. All right, I guess you can slide. Look at that. My name is Mega Man, and I know how to slide on my butt for long stretches of time. Fruville, here we go. Don't know what I'm saying at all. I suppose. Okay, so that was a really unfortunate, whoa, accident. Oh, jeez. All right. Whoa, there. So here I'm getting this thing where he just kept sliding but would not stop. Then I walked right into that. Oh, no. Yeah. See, like he's just sliding. I try to stop, but then he just keeps sliding. Like, I press the direction opposite to stop sliding, but he just kept sliding instead. Uh. Yeah, now we're just doing... I will say, having your hat be removed when you're on your last hit is a really nice visual indicator. But why so many loops of this? Is there something I'm doing wrong? Like it's not supposed to loop that much, but it's because like I'm not doing enough damage to some unknown target. <sighs> okay, so you are supposed to shoot these. Alright. Okay, so that's why there was so much repeating. I mean, the fact that the pads lit up, like, is an indication? It's just weirdly abstract. Like, you don't really have an indication that it is actually doing anything. Other than it lighting up the paths. Yay, new things! Alright, so confirmed. Oh, jeez. 
this is kind of neat, but kind of dangerous. Here we go, big old cat for Pillar Bob Joe. All right, just jump straight up and miss it up in front of time. All right, well. Oh, you can't charge your gun. Oh, what? How did that happen? Dude. Well, I'm just gonna die here. Don't wait too early. No, like, I... Uh, I'm dead because the next part is, like, impossible for me. Like... No! Like, I'm trying... You can see I'm trying to jump, but he doesn't? He just kind of makes the jump sound but stays on the ground? Why? I don't know. Like, it just... The controls don't make... I, I do not... I do not have the... Oh, uh, uh, oh, a uh, one segment can just throw my experience away. Why does sliding destroy your charge? The more I play Mega Man, the weirder he is. I tried to jump there, but instead he kept sliding. There too. the slide work the way I can predict. It's beautiful. Ah, I kept dying at the end. <laughs> what a shock. <laughs> when it works, it works beautifully. It is a wonderful ballet of Mega Man and Saz. Oh, but getting there. Oh, wow, you had two Mega Man. Press the button for jump. <laughs> what a thumbnail. <laughs> a low passage. I can kind of see it. Whoa, uh, how did- there we go. Outrun. Alright, JJ, 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 Yeah, Mega Man and Mega Man. See, yeah, you kind of said it right there, though. This is more a simple stage than a boss. I mean, it's kind of a survival card, so I would let you go on that end. I like that, but... <laughs> <laughs> that was Frozen Key Factory BT dubs. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The first real sentence of the first paragraph here. I feel it's not like, yeah, the fact that you can shoot them and they flash, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. You just need a little, a little extra oomph to tell you, no, you're doing the right here, son. Keep going. Oh, really? That I did not know. Like, I just kept attacking because... Why not? <laughs> yeah! So, same thing as me. My, my issue is the slide. Sometimes you slide, you press the jump button. Sometimes you jump, sometimes you keep sliding, and sometimes you bop and he gets up. I don't... I don't know. Oh... Mash like crazy. Huh. I wonder if I accidentally missed a phase, going but how you can miss phases. 
All right, well, yeah, mostly great. Uh, once again, I feel like I'm gonna be on Team Sturg. We are very similar in regards to a certain type of difficulty. Yeah, that is true. I think that's the main obstacle. Is that you get Mega Man, you expect him to play like Mega Man, but Smebex Mega Man isn't quite there. My name is Mega Man and I'm here to say that my name is Mega Man and I'm here to say that my name is Mega Man and I'm here to say... Oh man, I left a cultural impact! <laughs> I think this means Ramo did not enjoy his stay at the Mega Man Stay Farm. But look at that! They're making Spiny in the background. That orb, that power orb though, is so cool looking. Stop recording.